Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And inside of today's video, we're going to play ranked at the highest level you can possibly get in the world right now. So, we're sixth in the world, literally on the top page of the leaderboard. It's been a while. I've not had the chance to really grind as hard as I have been able to right now. But like I said, top six in the world. In terms of the ELO, this is as far as you can get, if you guys know. Even if I win or lose, I'm not going to move in terms of the leaderboard. I'll dive into that. But basically, I wanted to try out the rank content more on the main channel. You guys see it a lot on the second channel and on streams. But if you guys want to see these types of videos, maybe every single week, let, let's just see. Anyways, let's jump into it. All right, guys, jumping into the first game events. We've got Split. We've got Sick Beats right here so in terms of the meta it changes a bit but it doesn't like completely dictate the way the game's played so i'm just gonna ban edgar because edgar's a really good last pick any type of aggression especially on sick beats you gotta be uh, really worried about so of course we've got first pick i don't want to ban the best brawlers on this map just pick good last brawlers assassins throwers or just good like two free picks by that i mean like good safe picks so you know a lot of good two free picks could be brawlers like Stu, amber that's kind of generically who are pretty good or like Meg, Gene, etc, etc. So we have first pick. Angelo is a good first pick, but at the same time, yeah, we definitely want to rather go Melody than Angelo because Angelo on split, it doesn't always work out because look, look how close the lanes are. Unless you're running like double wall break, it's pretty hard to get the most value. So BB is going to be pretty hard to deal with. Gale is terrible on sick beats, so I'm not too sure why he's gone Gale. Um... I might go the call to try and counteract that. Anything else that could be good into BB, which can Well, there's nothing that can stun her. So, how can you even go against BB on this? I bet it's something that you guys are screaming me about, screaming to me about. I mean, normally Primo would just be good. We're just gonna go call. We'll just go aggression ourselves. BB can't knock us out of our protective pirouette, so that can be good. I'm actually gonna go with the heat as well, just to be annoying because I'm just that guy right now and in terms of our late pick again you can't go like buzz into bb like you can't go collect you can't go surge because ah uh, bro does do like, people not look at this do people not look at this what is surge going to do against bb nothing you can't knock her back so what what will surge do again i would have probably if it were like a loo i noticed i don't think the stun works for loo but at least you can farm a lot of supers. And they go with Stu. So they definitely have to draft, in my opinion. Just because Stu is pretty good into us. I don't know. None of the brawlers interrupt me. So I should be good myself. The draft is always very important. Make sure you're knowing the best brawlers. The best last pick brawlers overall. And just leave yourself to get countered as least as possible. Just give yourselves the best chance to win by just draft alone. That's what I love about ranks sometimes. Because not everyone understands... The ranked meta so we're just gonna go in here again they can't even interrupt my super that is just her like look at this like <laughs> like what can you even do in that scenario so we're gonna pop another gadget here and just anticipate bb at least he's gonna keep her back for a little while we do have another gadget to use if bb decides to go in aggro but again it doesn't even matter by any knockback carl is just insane on stick beats like how do people not even realize this just yet so close to another super here. we could just stay in the grass as well okay bb does interrupt our healing with the super that's okay we're gonna use a super of our own here unfortunately we get taken down eventually but i think melody is in a good spot to get the kill nice i'm gonna go down the left hand side and help this search okay collapse this lane anyways but we may as well just stay on this lane got another gadget here which is gonna hit onto gale which is beautiful close to our own super which we're just going to use straight away like just uh, tank as much as possible like what can these guys even do if we're just running to their face all the time beautiful and Surge going to get a kill on scale even without the interruption and that's what you just love to see i feel like people just they just don't know how to draft in sick beats i guess because it, it doesn't affect the meta entirely like may as well just go decent brawlers that don't have any slows like gale does he not realize that his whole kit is around like stun and cc that's just such a common mistake that i see all of the time you can literally draft tanks into gale which is hilarious obviously outside of the modifier you can't like gale would have been a really good pick if it was a normal modifier but people just don't concentrate enough you've got a full 20 seconds to have a look at things don't rush it at all there's just no point because messing up the draft can lose you the entire game you know you don't want to do that so again we're in a good situation here we can just keep the gale Back. we're going to use a gadget here just to 
prolong his push a little bit more and we can just heal up a tad. Melody is just going to go in there. Melody is good everywhere. I'm not too sure why the enemies didn't ban Melody. She's just broken everywhere, as you can see. And there's nothing to cancel her, so she's just going to be able to go aggro even more. We're going to use another gadget here because we know Gale's about to appear in a couple of seconds' time. That's going to stop his push. And now he's going to appear out of the bush. His super does nothing, though, other than just damages. Like, <laughs> what does that even do? So we're about to get this zone right here. A few more seconds, and we can start to go aggro into the bush. And Melody cleans both of those guys up, which is just crazy, crazy, crazy. We're going to pop Gadget here and just go in, which is just... What can BB even do? They can't do a single thing. And poor Stu, I mean, he can't really do anything. His kit isn't even affected by Sick Beats, but just because of the aggro brothers we've gone, he can't keep up, keep up DPS-wise. So, that's going to be the first game there. We're going to be able to win that pretty convincingly. I think the key points to take there... Is don't draft Gale, don't draft any brawlers that had any type of CC in their kit on this game mode because it doesn't work. Look at that one and seven overall, which is just absolutely terrible. Melody, Melody goes eight and zero. So that's going to be the first game. Let's hop into the next one. Okay, so jumping into the second and final game for today's video. Again, let me know in the comment section whether you like these types of videos on the main channel. Maybe I could switch it up more. For example, I could teach you guys literally how to draft. I go through like 10 games and literally like go through the draft trying to explain what's happening and then like give you guys the end result and tell you what happened kind of skip through it that would be a good video idea might do that this weekend if you guys really want to see it so in terms of new horizon then so straight away we look at the modifier we know bobbed ammo chip brawlers are really annoying here brawlers like rt are just really broken and people don't even realize jeans annoying here uh for sure so in terms like we have first picks so you want to ban either a thrower or an assassin we know on this map miko can literally jump over these walls and cause so much pressure so we just want we want to ban it we don't even want to think about miko on our screen other assassins are going to take longer to get into the game and not as great like edgar mortis etc we know good players we can pinch them out pretty easily so they go with a leon which is pretty good um anticipating their second pick here i don't really i can maybe think of a few things like piper um who else meg is still not banned so meg's pretty good on this map any type of thrower so they go with a piper themselves meg would be good we kind of want to go for a thrower i'm not gonna lie i know they have late pick actually no piper has a wall break so we don't really want to entertain that i'm thinking of meg myself like this guy is advising mainly because meg is a really good pick into piper meg's really underrated on this modifier as well so we're gonna go meg and the good thing about her is that you can shoot in between this mid bit again like i mentioned in yesterday's video that meg is a great brawler to learn how to master in the masters ranked because people still underrated such a good counter pick to so many different brawlers uh i think we've got to be careful of throwers so if I was my teammate, maybe like go a Brock or something myself to break open a map. But we'll go with Bell. So now, if I was the opponents, this is where you go wrong in a draft. Because you always got to think, especially on a map like this, throwers just dominate. Sprout. Um, tick. Any type of thrower will just have a lot of pressure. So if I was them, I will definitely go Sprout. And they would definitely have the draft. So let's see what they pick. Hopefully it isn't Sprout. They go with Poco. Poco? I mean, I, I, I didn't actually know why he's gone Poco. So we're going to go with the shield gear here just to maybe tank an extra shot into this Piper. We're going to go the extra gadget charge gear, mainly because the way that I play uh, Meg is just to get into their faces, cause as much pressure as possible. So if I can just spam gadgets, like two gadgets in the first two rounds, I should pretty much win one of those rounds at least just through spamming gadgets. So. Let's try it out here. Oh no, not the baby shark pin. No, a content creator's nightmare. Alright, we know we can get the pinch in the mid here, literally. So I don't know why he went Poco. Because Meg is the, one of the best counters into that kind of aggression in the middle. So again, I don't know what they're really doing. Is he doing Poco only to Masters? I've not really seen Poco on this map, which is just absolutely hilarious. Right, we're close to Super here. Let's keep this Poco tagged up. We could probably force him all the way into spawn already here. Nice. Bear with a pinch, please. Another pinch. One more. Come on, he's one shot. Get him, Bell. We're going to pop Gadget here and try to get some aggression going. Let's see if we can take him down. Oh, no. I missed the swipe, but Piper's weak. Everyone's weak. Help me out, guys. Piper, yes. We managed to snipe Piper in small form. That is just hilarious to me. You'd love to see it. It doesn't even matter about this interaction here as long as we don't throw and as long as we don't feed Leon. That is also a good tip. Whenever it's knockout and... There's a brawler with a really good super. So, for example, Leon, Jean, 
Mandy. Trying to think of a few other rollers top of my head. You get what I mean? Those really polarizing supers in knockout. You don't want to feed them. Just let the gas do all the work. Be patient. Don't feed their supers. And the same goes for if you're on the receiving end. Make sure you get your super if you've got a really game-changing one. So Gene, Mandy, try and just force a good situation to get your super. So I don't know what is really happening. Again, I'm trying to show you guys the best Masters gameplay possible. This is what I could have come up with. Unfortunately, this is just Masters at the highest ranks. This is me missing Meg Swipes continuously. But I, I, I've tried my hardest to get some good uh, competitive <laughs> games. But... One of the games I had like a cult and gem grab, for example, or I've just had some crazy things. So this is the best I could come up with. At least I'm teaching you guys some good ways to draft. Again, I could maybe look at your guys' gameplay and give you guys some better tips. So there's not much I can really do about this other than the fact that just to play normally. Also, one thing as well people don't understand is with Leon, like Leon can be pretty annoying, especially with his chip damage. But at the same time, his super is completely redundant on this modifier. So again, another thing that I feel like you need to clock on to much quicker if you want to push master masters on uh, the new rank season because how can you not see that leon gets countered with this modifier we should be able to get the like poco somehow survives that so yeah his super is just terrible like what's the point even clicking it because any barilla can counter it any point in time so i'm just gonna pop gadget here did my teammates just get sniped by poco really poco literally goes loco are we actually about to lose a round to Poco on New Horizon? This is a new first. This is a new low for me. I mean, at this point, do I try and fight? Yeah, we're just... I know I said not to feed supers, but I just want to get the round over and done with because we're facing Poco. We should be able to win this easily. Maybe I fed him too many supers. I don't, I don't know what happened, all right? I don't know what happened. We don't talk about this. I'm getting exposed in front of you guys. On the second channel, I can get away with some bad gameplay because not everyone watches it. Right, into Piper, we can just force the pressure. But Poco, we don't want to feed Super. Piper is missing a lot of sh shots here. Okay, Poco goes down. We can just keep chipping the Piper. We waste another swipe, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. We're just going to fall back. Heal up. No point really um, forcing things. We don't want to throw. And in case, like, Leon pops in this, you know, if I'm alone, away from my teammates, my teammates can't trade. That's why, as well, you always group up when you see a Leon. It's all about trading. Like, a lot of times, Leon will still get the kill. But what on earth is our RT doing? Hello? Okay, I've got to pop a gadget here. I really didn't want to use a gadget and save it for the, save two for the last round. But <laughs> my RT just used his split for no reason in the open. I mean, <laughs> uh, I, I, I actually feel like sometimes they get worse playing ranks. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm not going to lie. It will help you a lot in some departments, but... You will lose a lot of brain cells on the way. And this is definitely one of those face palm moments. So let's take down the Leon gadget as soon as possible. Yo, Poco actually has a lot of pressure down that lane. Like, <laughs> you just walk up the lane and win it just through pressure alone. So Piper, we can just shred through her. Look at that. You can't tell me that Meg doesn't count to Piper. That is just crazy to me. So we're in a bit of a precarious position here so i'm gonna try and keep tabs on poker okay he's just melting me here let's just chip him down just be annoying to him we could just stay in this open area to be fair they've got to come to us and if we can just stay here even if we get pushed back there's a lot of open area we will win this fight at long range so poker just gets double tapped by the RT, rt i was gonna say he needs to be a lot more um patient but he's a poker and knockout what do you even expect so that's gonna be it for today's video guys Again, let me know what you want to see in the comment section below. Just wanted to bring this content to the main channel, see if you guys enjoy it. So, they actually played really well in the end. I mean, it is definitely the Poco's fault. And I believe we have got back to 10k ELO. So, like I said, I did tilt a little bit, but we're back at the highest we can get. Just to prove to you guys that the 10k ELO is glitched. We're staying at uh, sixth in the world. So, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.